Yo, 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 it's just another Ask Chris Soul. Hey guys, Chris here. Welcome to Wednesday's video. So, you guys finally asked me some questions, which I'm so excited about, which means I get to do a, uh, another Just Ask Chris O. So, on my Chris O page, I asked you guys to use the hashtag Just Ask Chris O and ask me some questions. Um, and you guys responded, which I'm so happy about and I'm so thankful because I love doing these videos uh, for you guys. I've done one before, uh, the link will be at the bottom as always for you to check that one out. MJ Pick asks, I'd love for you to do a Q&A. My question would be, what motivates you to put yourself out there and speak to everyone about your challenges in life? Um, what motivates me to do my videos is fun. I really enjoy doing this. Um, I enjoy doing what I do. I think that it's great to connect with you guys. There's nothing that I don't talk about. My life's an open book, and I guess knowing that people are watching and you know taking something from it, whether it be uh, a good thing that they're taking, or you know whether it's something for them to talk about in, in a negative way, um, you know that's really none of my business. Uh, but at the end of the day, I love doing this. It's fun. Um, it keeps me creative, I guess. Um, I'm hoping that people look at me as a, a person to relate to and connect with. Jay Patricia Boyce asks, Do you ever worry about people judging you for putting your life on camera and how do you deal with negative comments? There will always be negative people in the world. There will always be people trying to put people down for doing something they love. Um, I really, I, I ignore it. Ignore them because it's coming from their own issues has got nothing to do with you. You know, I don't read negative comments and if I do read them, they wash off my back. What people think of you is none of your business. Simple. Kara Cushion asks, this is quite heavy and you may touch upon it in the coming weeks, but I'd like to hear the story about your first love in the US. Have you fallen in love again after he passed away? <laughs> Tough question. Um, I'm really happy to talk about it. For you guys who have been reading my blogs, um, I had a boyfriend in America when I lived there and he passed away of a drug overdose. That was really, really hard. Uh, but I have found love since then. Um, I find it difficult at times because I guess with a breakup, um, it, it's a decision that somebody's made. This was kind of made for us and it's, it's really hard to find closure. I, I still think, you know, if he was still alive, together and, and things like that so I've definitely found love since <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> I'm single at the moment uh, I can name a few people that I, I think I felt quite strongly about um, one person that I've fallen in love with since but he will always be in my heart and I know that he will always be with me I know that sounds wanky Sema Aziz asks loving your videos Chris for someone who's quite new how have you managed to get so many subscribers and video views? Sema, so, uh, I am new to YouTube and thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I didn't start doing this to get views or to get subscribers. Of course it's nice to get subscribers because I know that people are watching and along with video views. I started this quite selfishly. Um, it's something that I wanted to do for a long time and thought it was a, a, you know, a, a bit of fun because I've watched YouTube for such a long time. I guess my best advice to anybody starting out is don't hold anything back. Treat the camera as your best friend. Don't listen to negative remarks. Of course, listen to constructive criticism. We can always be, you know, improving and things like that, but don't listen to the negative comments because it will let you up. I don't, I don't put on an act. What you, what you guys see is what you get basically with me in real life. Don't do it for the, a fan base. Don't do it for the wrong reasons, I guess. Do it because you want to do it and, and don't ever do anything in life that it's not for yourself. And Sammy corrects us. Now we all know that Sammy uh, is my co-host of the Chris Owen Sammy Show. We're currently in the midst of season two, so make sure you guys tune in every Sunday for that one. Uh, but she's asked a very interesting question. Okay, something that I've been thinking about lately. Sorry if it's a little in depth, but would love to hear your thoughts. Do you believe that close friends of those who are gay belong to the GLTV community? If so, how do they fit in? Do you believe that close friends are affected as they watch their loved ones coming out or throughout any struggles that they may face? Without going too in depth with this because I feel that this is a whole video that I can speak a lot about so I've decided to do that. Um, I think that when, I know for me when I was struggling with coming out, my friends, my supporters, my, my, my core group of friends back then were straight and they will always be part of the community to me because they're there through the 
the good and the bad times. Sometimes it upsets me that it affects them so much that if we're walking down the street and somebody yells out faggot, I, I know that I get upset, but the look on their face, it's, it's upsetting as well because they know that that hurts me. And I think any friends that see their friend go through something and it's something that they can't control and they can't stop, we need to recognise that that you know, our supporters go through a lot of the stuff that we go through with us. It may not be directed at them, but they, they, go, they go through it with us. So, you know, it affects them as well. So we've got to remember that. That's all the questions I've got, guys. Thanks so much to everybody who submitted questions. I absolutely love answering your questions. So please, guys, if you can think of anything else, use the hashtag, just ask Chris O. Uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Uh, but until next time, guys, Peace out. Oh, and don't forget, Crystal and Sammy show every Sunday for the next eight weeks. Season two, so much fun to film with one of my best friends in the world. Also, don't forget to check me out on Purple Speech every Thursday at 11 at Joy 94.9.